Hi friends, welcome back. Um, I'm here on my couch today because I have to miss you for another probably about two weeks or so before we can come back in the classroom. Um, not a whole lot going on, not a whole lot of snow. I hope you got to enjoy a little bit. Um, Chris and I are talking about going up to Ann Arbor tomorrow to find some trails outside and to take a um, you, you might be able to do that when winter breaks a little bit um, because we have the Huron Park and Crosswinds Marsh not far from us where you can go outside and hike with your family too if you haven't been before. Our introduction starts off with a girl in her clubhouse and everybody packing things up and getting ready. We are going on a hike. Um, it looks like they're off to Buck Mountain and everything, if you get a chance to check this out from the library, it was written by Allison Farrell. It's well labeled. It says there's a bumblebee and a red fox and a jay feather and some snowberry. Now it's our favorite thing to do. Shooka, 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 shooka. We've got Stellar's Joy up here. I wonder where they're going. Hey, wait for me. In the beginning. We run like maniacs. So it's her, her friend, and her puppy on a leash. We've tried to take Fonzie and Athena, and we'll take them to cross ones, but not those big long ones. Well, until a ripe patch of thimbleberries slows us down. See the toad over there by the berries? Our toads are hibernating right now. It teaches us how to make leaf baskets. And there's a sketchbook. Uh, like this, Elle? Yep. We have eaten too many berries. Oh, is that possible? I thought we were saving some for later. And the puppy says, oh. The hike gets steep and the trail narrows. Here's a hollow tree and a porcupine climbing uh, a cedar. Ooh, ah, Hattie, how did you get up there so fast? You see the trail, it's here, but then it looks like it winds up around there too. And it says this is the perimeter loop and the perimeter goes all the way around. Crosswinds has a perimeter uh, trail that's the horse trail. We get lost. Hmm. Which way is north? There's a stand of red alder trees. Pretty sure we were not supposed to cross a river yet. And they've got a topographic map and a trail map. And this is the map of the state forest. So there's different maps for different things. Uh, Chris and I sometimes use an app now that's a little bit more synced with our GPS. Did we go left after the berry patch? Mm, right, I think. Azure, cerulean, cobalt. Those are all colors of blue as she's sketching. Hey, Ren, what's another word for blue? And she says azure, cerulean, and cobalt. All names for blue, like in the river. Ren's sketchbook. Hattie always finds the route in a bird's eye view of Hattie from the top while she's looking at the map. We're halfway there. In no time, we get back on track. Speaking of tracks, who made these? A deer walks past. Bean sneezes. Achoo! You know who Bean is? Bean's the puppy. You might see a white-tailed deer in Flat Rock. When I grew up on Woodruff Road, we would see them right there in the field. Now the deer vanishes so quick, we wonder if it was really there. They can be quick, especially if they get surprised. Now a light rain comes in and then goes. The birds are happy and we listen to them chirp and chatter in the trees. This is the river we were looking for, right, Hattie? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wren's sketchbook says the birds we saw at Whitefish River were Anna's hummingbird, a mountain chickadee, and a mountain bluebird. Hattie gets tired. Elle offers to carry her, and soon Elle is tired too. Let's see that at the top. Giddy up! I can't do this much longer. The ride's over, everyone. 
Brr, it's getting chilly. Here's the summit to the perimeter loop. And the summit means the top. At the top, Wren takes out her flag, Elle reads her palm, and Hattie releases feathers into the wind. We did it! And then they go home again. And this is them looking at the constellations in the night sky as they come home. I hope you enjoyed the hike, and I hope you're enjoying your time away from school. We'll see you soon.